चलो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टेबल तो वी हैव वी आर गिवन विद एन एम्प्लॉय टेबल इट इज यूनिक एट एवरी एम्प्लॉय आई डी राइट सो एम्प्लॉय आई डी इज योर प्राइमरी की इन दिस टेबल दैट इज वॉट वी नो and if you understand if you look at the table you will understand that you know every employee is just mapped to one department that that's how it works in in any of the uh, organizations that 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 we try to work for okay now with this information there are five questions that have been given let's try to solve each of these questions one at a time and i have asked these questions a lot of time during interviews uh, and i have seen people making multiple small small mistakes so we'll try to find the best possible solution at the same time we'll try to see where exactly a lot of people make mistake and how we can avoid that mistake theek okay? hai so what's the first question the first question is simple find the employee with the second highest salary theek okay? hai so if i know the level of data this question is pretty simple right what i really need to do is in this table i know that every employee is coming only once right and it has some salary to it theek okay? hai If I could create some kind of a rank from the three ranking functions that I have, I have dense rank, row number, rank. If I could create one more column, and if I could create that rank function, okay. So what I'm trying to say is, from this table, if I could add one, let's say one rank flag, okay, rank based on the salary of employee. And here, if I know the level of data, I can understand that I don't need to use any partitioning, okay, for this whole table at this level. all i need to create is create rank based on the salary that you have and once i can create a rank all i need to do is do the filter for the rank flag that you've created theek okay? hai whatever rank flag that you've created all you need to do is filter theek okay? hai and let's try to solve this question so i already have this table i have created the same table that uh, that we have right so this is your employee table theek okay? hai so it it contains all the nine unique employee ids that that we were talking about and this is the question theek okay? hai now let me try to solve this question so the way that we've talked about is right if you just try to do it so first create one part theek hai what i need to create is create the rank function theek hai so select star comma what do i need to create i am now using dense rank and i'll probably mention why i am thinking about dense rank and not about row number or rank uh, i'll talk about that So dense rank over. Now I've already mentioned you don't need any partition, right? You can't partition here by depart department ID or employee ID, right? I want if if I partition by department ID, it will give me something else. What it will give me? It will give me rank for employees within the department, right? But the question is, you want all the employees clubbed together, okay? Therefore, you don't need partition here. So simply dense rank over, order by your salary in descending order and let's call this as your employee rank flag theek okay. hai now all i need to do is from whichever table it was so from i should have written this first e m p l o y e e employee table and now if i just run this part right so now what i have got is i am getting all the ranks for the particular table right so now if you could see employee id 9 has the highest salary which is 900 and this has been given the first rank fair enough quite easy right now what do we need to do we need to filter this for rank equal to 2 theek hai so what you can do is within the sub query you can simply do the select star from let's call this table a where employee rank flag whatever you've created theek hai so employee r a n k flag is equal to 2 okay and this will only give you the employee with the second highest salary works right so you get employee id 8 department is 4 salary is 800 and this is the rank this works right but generally right the better way to write in uh, in interviews i would say is use cts so the first part is create a ct let's say this ct is your employee rank okay this is your table ab is so first you create this ct simply create this part right all you need to do is just copy this part okay so here is this right so i will create this i generally write or generally prefer writing in terms of cts because it is much more clear it is much more neat right you you can understand what is happening in a very step by step fashion so the first step was you created one flag you created one employee rank flag you've labeled this table as something 
and now what you need to do so select from which table employee rank table okay and what you need to do you need to filter where employee rank flag is equal to two taken what you need to do whatever selection you want to do let's say i am selecting everything as of for now okay now simply run this part and you will get the answer in a very neat fashion okay this is a better way of of doing it right so use the ct approach okay this one was your basic sub query approach both nothing i think whichever works for you write it i generally prefer the ct approach right it is a lot more clearer and during interviews you can very easily explain it to the interviewer now why i have taken dense rank and not the other thing around now the only thing that i was thinking about is that this is a snapshot table right it is quite possible that there might be duplicates there might be ties within the highest salary so two employees can have the same highest salary so i can have rank 1 attached to both of these employees also okay and therefore if i use row number it will not work it will give rank 1 and 2 to the highest salary also okay that might happen so depending on a particular use case i might pick which ranking function do i need to look out for if there are ties for example let's say student ranking system theek hai so if someone has exactly same percentage or same marks i might rank them as one so two students can have rank one then the third student will have rank two in that particular case dense rank will work theek hai so depending on use case you have to pick which ranking function that you need to apply in this particular case i am going with dense rank but i'll try to clarify it with the interviewer what was the real use case theek hai and that's how i'll try to move forward with for different problem that you will try to do now there is one more way of solving the same thing okay and this is uh, this is what you can also do okay before this right one problem that i have seen a lot of people do is they at times try to do this so what is the wrong approach that they'll do so they'll do this they'll create the rank function and then they'll apply the where clause here itself and within the where they'll say that this is the employee rank which is equal to 2 and this is wrong okay why this is wrong firstly the way the order of execution work is that this where clause will run first and when this where clause is running right you don't have any column as employee rank flag at this point of time right it is not running the select clause first therefore this thing does not work okay so don't try to make such mistakes ensure that you have clearer understanding of how the execution happens now another way of solving this is using max how can you solve this so select from employee where all i need to do is for second highest right if i can say that where salary not in and i will eliminate the highest salary from here so select max salary from employee theek hai so if i can eliminate what this is this statement is doing is is that it is filtering the highest salary so out of the nine employee ids i had right it is eliminating the highest salary now i only have eight salaries theek hai and now what they are doing is you can simply do this theek hai you order by so before that you select whatever you want to select theek hai so let's say i want to select employee id i want to select salary theek hai and then you say that order by salary descending now you sorted your table by descending salaries theek hai and as we know that this where clause has already filtered out the highest salary so you don't have highest salary in this table and you simply say that i will add limit 1 now this will also work this will also give you employee id 8 and salary 800 if you want a department id you can add department id now this part when you write this in interviews right this is partially correct it is not completely correct in lead code also i have seen everyone is giving this type of a solution but this is a very partially correct solution and the simple reason reason is that what if there were multiple people having the same highest salary same second highest salary theek hai then this will not work theek hai so in case of ties you are missing this very small important pointer that even ties could have happened theek hai therefore avoid this solution it is avoidable 
uh, you can like interviewers like a lot of interviewers might might ask you that okay what apart from ranking function which you can use so you can always give the solution but you can mention where the solution might not be the best fit 